Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete David Jado in Premiere Pro. Those who don't know who David Jado is, he gained 200k plus followers on Instagram within two months due to his amazing short form content. So, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So, this is my video right here. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type a test. So, for doing this, go to Window, SSL Graphics. In your right hand side, you can see the SSL Graphics. Now, Go to type tool right here and I'm going to type a test. Now, under the SSL graphics, you can see the test. So, the phone that David Zato is using is Menlo. I will put a link in the description. You can download it from there. So, I am using the Menlo board. Under appearance, you can see the fill. Change the color to red. And check on stroke and make sure the stroke build is 10. So let me send to the test. For doing this, click on the test. Under align and transfer, click on align center. Let me change this test to white. You can simply change it by selecting this test. Under appearance fill, change the color to white. Okay. As you can see in this Devin Zeta video, you can see this test is flickering and there is to be a zoom in motion and also there is a tiny bit of wave motion to it. So we are going to recreate it. So for doing this, go to effects and type VR Glow. Under video effects, immersive video, VR Glow. Drag this into your test right here. Now, under effect controls, VR Glow, change the Luma threshold to 0. Add Glow Radius to 150. Glow Brightness to 0 0.40. And glow saturation to 10. So this is the before and this is after. As you can see, there is a big difference. Now let me increase the test size to 135. And now I'm going to add the flickering effect to the test. So for doing this, create a copy of your test by holding Alt key on your keyboard and drag it on top. Now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the remaining part of the test where I don't want to add the flicker effect like this as you can see this is the test which I want to add the flicker effect now I'm going to select this test and under SSL graphics appearance fill change the color to white now what I'm going to do is go two frames forward and I'm using razor tool or press C on your keyboard, go two frames forward and cut it. Do this process again and again, how much your flicker effect to be needed. After that done, and I'm going to delete it like this. If you play, it will look like this. Now I'm going to add the zoom in and wave animation. So for doing this, select both these tests right click and nest click on this nest seekers and go to effect controls and i'm going to set a keyframe for position at the beginning of the channel line now let me go two frames over and change the position to 1270 and let me go another two frames and i'm going to change the position to so now the wave animation is completed. Now I'm going to add the zoom in animation. Set the keyframe for scale at the beginning of the timeline. Now at the end, change the scale size to 110. And now we recreate the wave in a zoom in animation. And now I'm going to change the rotation to minus 5. Okay, now if you play. And the next effect is uh, the color change. So, uh, let me type a test. Uh, using the type tool, I'm going to type a test. Now you want to add a glow. So for easy way to do is, select the next sequence. You can see the previous test right here, where we add the glow effect. Just go to the effect controls right here. Right click on the VR glow, save preset. And I'm going to write a name glow and press OK. Now if you want to add a glow, go to effects, under preset, you can see the glow. Just drag this into the test right here. 
In this way, you can easily add the glow. You don't have to manually adjust the settings. Let me change the size to 135. Now let me cut at the middle. Select one of the test. Select this part and change to red. And go to the other test and select this part and change to red. And the last thing which I see most commonly is adding images to the video. So I just added an image which is a QR code. So this is a PNG image. So let me increase the size of the image to 200. Under position, let me drag the image all the way down. And let me go few frames forward and let me drag it on the top. As you can see in the image of the video, you can see the image is on the back of the test is on front. You can simply do this by drag your test layer on top and the image on bottom. So as you can see, it will look like this. And if you want, uh, you can smoothen the animation by select both the query frames, right click, temporal depletion, auto BCO, and click on the drop down icon and make the graph like this. That's it, guys. Hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of tutorial videos. And I will see you on my next video.